What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be the evolution of the world's tallest buildings size comparison from 1900 to 2022. I find that a little bit strange. We're in 2021 at the moment. This video was obviously created before this as well. I'm assuming that is a project which is expected to be completed in 2022, which probably won't happen because at the end of the day, if you know anything about building, they normally run over day and cost a lot more money than expected. But maybe it's very far down its production line and it's estimated 2022. Not sure what building that actually is. Obviously, at the moment, the uh, Burj Khalifa, I believe it is, is the tallest building in the world. Um, I expect to see quite a lot of the US in here, maybe New York City. You've got the Empire State Building and you obviously got the One World Trade Center as well. So that's already three out of this on the list. I'm not sure how many there is, uh, but we've already got three of them right there. Be interesting to see as well, I feel like through the time period, there's significant jumps. Like where you went from maybe this high to ridiculously high in one jump and then gradually got higher from there as well. Or if it was literally just a steady gradual like one person competes and makes a little bit taller building. The next person competes, makes it a little bit taller because at the end of the day, it's quite impressive to get the tallest building. And I, I guess if you're competing with another company to get that, you don't have to go ridiculously higher. You just got to be higher to get that start as the world's tallest building. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Again, my background, trainee architectural technician. So hopefully I should know a few of these and uh, the architecture will be absolutely incredible, I imagine, as well. Let's get straight into it, guys. Hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. Let's try and hit 100 to 200 likes on this video. Like I said in my last one, we're going to be doing three videos a day for at least the next week. And I'm going to throw in videos like this, kind of worldwide reactions and uh, just random ones which you want to do which seem pretty cool, what interests me, maybe interests you as well. Hopefully it interests you. So let me know in the comments what you want me to react to and hit that subscribe button if you're around here. Why not? Make my day, hit that red uh, subscribe button because we're actually only about 800 off 10, uh, 20,000 subs. Like That is absolutely mind-blowing to hit that subscribe button. I'd seriously appreciate it. Now, let's check out the evolution of the world's tallest buildings. Okay, here we go. I mean, we've started off before the 900s, but again, I'm guessing it gets completed in the 900s. 20 years to build. Oh, Philadelphia, there you go, one for the US. Again, it is a little bit cheap. It, it kind of is like the world's tallest buildings, like the Empire State and the One World Trade Center. Just have a little spike on top, just to get that advantage. Just a little bit of a cheat, yeah, a little bit. Nice, Singer building. I'm not sure I've heard of a Singer building before. Oh, this is what I mean. Like, we're talking about the progression. Again, we're only nine years in, but <laughs> just that tiny bit more. They've just pipped them a tiny bit. 230 meters. Again, it's, it's nothing to like laugh about. It's, it is high, but just that tiny bit more just to get that status of, yeah, we once were the world's tallest building. Again, New York City, though. Woolworth built New York City again. <laughs> Great building though. It looks beautiful. I do rate that. Bank of Manhattan Trust. Again, New York City. It is the city which has a fantastic sky and so many skyscrapers. And again, this just highlights how far in advance they were thinking about getting that office space in a vertical building pretty much. And how innovative they were pretty much in creating the world's tallest building i personally didn't realize this many has come out of new york city because we've already spoke we've already seen three there and i already know about two more you also have ridiculously tall buildings there which probably aren't going to make this list it just shows how innovative and ahead of the game new york city was i guess in the skyscraper industry which shows when you look at the skyline it is absolutely fabulous Turns in 83 meters as well. It's increased quite a bit. Oh, the Chrysler building, I should have known that. To be fair, I went straight out of my head. I should have recognized the Chrysler building. Again, architecture, fantastic on it. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> 
every meter counts with that spike. Booms are 19 meters, wow. Again, I was actually distracted. I was reading the height to tip. I didn't even know it said Empire State Building. And then when we were going up, I was like, this building looks so familiar. It's a very historic building, isn't it? We knew it was going to be on this. It's 931. I have been to the Empire State Building. I have heard all these facts, but I completely forgot it was that old. I was thinking 50s in my head for some reason, but damn, it is very old. Old Chase Center, there we go. Great buildings, and never forget these buildings, 100%. Even though, I, I know I've paused so much, it's only a five minute video, so let me off. Should, shouldn't they only show one of them? Because I swear I heard an interesting fact at one point that one of them is actually a floor bigger than the other. Or was a floor bigger. Obviously, it's tragic what happened to them, and uh, I hope you guys are okay, and not as affected as possible and uh yeah it's it's, a, it's awful what happened to Burns. we're not going to get into that on this video and I hope you guys are okay but i swear one of them were a higher level and obviously one of them's got the spike on top does that count to make it taller does that actually count in the official ranking it as the tallest building because in theory one of them is taller than the other i know it comes a combo but it should only show one i guess cheers tower chicago yes Great building. A troll. I've never heard of this tower. I may recognise it. Um, yeah, I've never heard of this one. Oh, yes, I have the sky bridge in between. I, I've i seen, again, I apologize for pausing, so I have seen this building before, but I didn't know it was the tallest in the world at one point. It mainly the sky bridge I knew it for. Oh, only just, though. What a funky design, wow. Yeah, that, that's pretty funky, I like that. There we have it. 2010 basically completed, maybe 2011. We'll see if it adds a little bit extra time onto it. The Burj Khalifa, that is the tallest build, build in the world to date. We've got... Another couple of minutes though, so again, I said about the 2022, it must be stuff which are coming to completion soon. Uh, absolutely incredible, again, the architecture, all these buildings, whether you like the design of it or not, you've got to look at the architecture and the structural design about, wow, absolutely incredible for them to be able to stand upright with all the high pressure winds, everything against them. And they just stand there, ridiculously high in the sky, still start, it's, it's incredible, it really is. What we got next then, I'm so excited to see. Jeddah Tower, okay. Whoa, I get super thin. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, it dwarfs the Burj Khalifa. Oh my days, man. I talked about jumps before, and yes, the Burj Khalifa was a big jump. It's over a thousand meters. Oh, wow. That's what's coming. There's another one. What? That's incredible. Wow. Just 
Just look how far we've come and we're going. Man. Hey guys, hope you wow, that, that is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. This channel link will be in the description. I just want to check out, was it the Dubai Creek Tower? Again, I, I don't really know much about it, but oh my days, it looks stunning. Oh, we've got to check this out. Definitely. New development at the historic Dubai Creek. Wow, look at that, Rumored man. To stand more than 1,300 meters high, the tower would dwarf the nearby Burj Khalifa and become the tallest man-made structure ever built. A showcase of everything the Middle East could achieve, just like the Eiffel Tower at the 1889 World's Fair. I mean, that's a point. We never actually saw the Eiffel Tower on there. Um, I guess it just wasn't tallest building when it was made. Again, a fantastic structure again. That Dubai Creek Tower, it's next to Burj Khalifa, it dwarfs it. That looks absolutely incredible. We're not going to check the whole video out today, but if you want me to do a bit of research in the video, because I'm going to do some research anywhere of my own, because that seemed incredible, and I kind of want to know what stage it's at. It does say it stopped in the top, so maybe it won't be completed. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to check that out and find out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. You're absolute legends. Let me know in the comments what else you're my tractor, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.